Hi guys, this is True Vine, your prophetess Catherine. So I'm here to relay another prophetic uh, verse that the Lord have given to me on the 4th, which is yesterday. Um, so this is the second verse that the Lord have given me yesterday. It is of Deuteronomy 8.12. So I am going to um will be I will be taking you through the um the perspective of what an uh, uh interpretation and the meaning of this verse particular verse of Deuteronomy 8:12 So The danger of prosperity, okay, Jeronomy 8, 12 is talking about the danger of prosperity. In contrast to a joyful obedience to God is the arrogance that often accompanies prosperity, richness, success. This is similar to the danger of complacency that Moses warned us about in Jeronomy 4, 25 to 40. But with a focus on active pride rather than passive entitlement. So now I will be taking you to the verse uh, Jeronomy 8, 12 to 14. When you have eaten your fill and have built fine houses and lived in them and when your herd and flocks have multiplied and your silver and gold is multiplied and all that you have is multiplied, then you do not exalt yourself, forgetting the Lord your God who brought you out of the land of Egypt, out of the house of slavery? Now this is the verse of Deuteronomy 8.12. Okay, so this morning I have posted up a last couple of posts talking about it was what was the verse? It was Jeremiah verse Jeremiah eight twelve or so. I believe the Lord have given years. Jeremiah eight twelve or five twelve or something like that. Five twelve. That's right. The Lord given me Jeremiah five twelve talking about how the people of that time have forgotten God and acting out. Okay, now with this Jeronomy 8.12 is talking about the richness, there is a danger of prosperity that you could also be doing the same thing, which is, you know, once you all fulfill and gain your richness, there is a danger of forgetting the Lord. So when after many years of sweat equity, a person see a business, career, research project, child raising, or other work become a success, he or she will have a justifiable sense of pride. But when, but when we can allow joyful pride to slip into arrogance. Jeronomy 8, 17 to 18 remind us, do not say to yourself, my power and the might of my own hand have gotten me this wealth. That is pride. 
You must remember the Lord your God, for it is He who gives you power to get wealth, so that He may confirm His covenant that He swore to your ancestor, as He is doing today, as part of His covenant with His people. God give us the ability to engage in economic production. We need to remember, however, that it is a gift of God. Whatever you gain in life, whatever success you have achieved, where you are sitting now, in those prosperity, favor position, it is all the work of God. We must. Remain humble and remember to give the Lord thanks and give Him glories. Give Him glories for what He have done for you. When we attribute our success entirely to our abilities and effort, we forget that God give us those ability as well as life itself. He holds those things. He gave you those gifts. He gave you those talent. He gives you those time, and he gives you another day to do those things. We are not self-created people, children of God. You are not self-created. Okay, the illusion of self-sufficiency make us hard-hearted. Remain soft. Remain humble. Give glories to God where it deserves. The reason that you are sitting in your place of prosperity and wealth is because of the Lord. As always, the pros- the proper worship and awareness of dependence on God provides the antidote. Yes, so. Don't forget, don't don't forget to give the Lord where the Lord give Him glories. Okay, never forget, never forget how you come about to sit where you are today, in your prosperity, in your richness, and your success. It is all in God, because of God, and as a child of God, we should remain humble. And give him glories, and remain dependent on him. So I thought this verse was somewhat a continuation from um, Jeremiah five twelve. As it is, the Lord is so good. You know everything that He given each time seems to link and read and speaks the same thing. And I couldn't have come up with this myself, to be honest. <laughs> so um, just as surprise, and still learning as it go with you guy, along with you guy. Believe it or not, each verse is still very um. It's new. It's fresh. And I'm also here as a disciple to learn from our teacher. The Lord Jesus Christ Himself. Each time He speaks the verse, each time He gives us wisdom and words, it's like taking one big class of Bible study together. I think that would be a yes. I really enjoy doing this each day. It's like a new, exciting, unwrapped prison each day. So hallelujah, praise the Lord. Thank you, Holy Spirit, for um, giving me understanding to be able to do all this for you and for me myself. I just continue to amaze and really enjoy each day. So thank you for listening, and I hope you have a blessed afternoon. This is your prophetess Catherine, and we should um. We should talk again soon. Have a blessed day. Shalom.